Hey everybody, Melissa O'Grady here, and I don't have my glasses on because they're very reflective and you can't see me, but I'm going to have to put them on in a minute. But today, I'm finally doing the video that I've said that I needed to do, um, which is what do I personally eat in a day being on this whole food, plant-based lifestyle. So I've been eating this way about nine months, and um, since the last video with my update, you know, I've lost another couple pounds. I'm at a 70 pound loss right now. Um, I lose a lot slower. So I fight for each pound now, but then I don't have much left to lose. But um, so I've gone from a size 14 to a two. And earlier this week for the first time, I was actually wearing a size zero. Don't hate me. All right. <laughs> I mean, I still have lots of rolls even on fitting into those. So you know, it's sometimes I have a hard time seeing it. But one of the questions I get asked the most frequently is, what are you eating? What are you doing? Because when you see success, not only do you want to kind of emulate it, but at the same time, you want to see if I'm, you know, if someone's starving themselves in order to lose all this weight. And I'm certainly not. I'm certainly eating a lot. So for a rare moment, I'm actually alone in the house. It's me and the cats. Normally, um, my husband does work evenings. So during the day, he's home. And then by the time the kids get home, he's getting ready to leave. And so I'm never really alone. So I took a bath. So my hair is damp and you're not going to see me through most of this video. But I wanted to take the time because it's lunchtime for me. And I wanted to show you exactly what I eat in a day and how much I eat. So um, let's start with breakfast. I get up early on the weekdays. I get up about 45 minutes before my daughter. So I get up at about 5.45 in the morning. I do have a cup of coffee every day. Um, I perk our coffee on the stovetop. So if I move, you can see our percolator. Nice little old fashioned little vintage perk. We think the coffee just tastes so much better that way. So it takes a good 20 minutes from when I get up and turn on the stove for it to be ready for me to drink. So I get up early just so I can have a cup of coffee before I get my daughter up. So one of my little cheats that I've talked about is I like the silk almond milk based creamers. My favorite is hazelnut. It is hard to find in my area. Target is the only place to have it, and they were out of stock for like two weeks. I was dying. I tried every other brand out there, and they were awful in comparison. So when this big boy got back in stock, I, I literally bought three of them. So there's two more in the fridge. And this was just Monday, and this one's probably already down to, to about here. Yeah, so a serving size is a tablespoon. I usually use two, so. But I don't use any other sugar, no sugar substitute. So while this is not the best option in the world and there is oil in it, I need to enjoy my cup of coffee. So don't care. I have a cup of coffee every morning and this is what I put in it. So let me get my glasses on and talk about breakfast. So breakfast every day, I have some sort of oats. I either have overnight oats or I make savory oats. And I talk about these constantly. The recipe I use for the savory oats is from Anne Esselstyn's Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook. It's the cookbook based off her husband's book, which both are fantastic books. And um, I love the savory oats. So I make a double batch every single week. And that double batch makes me four servings. So it gives me, um, you know, four breakfasts. And then the other three, I either make overnight oats or I make more savory oats if I'm in the mood for it. This is most mornings. I would say there's a couple times where maybe I did not make overnight oats the night before and I don't have any more of my savory oats and I'm tired and hungry and I don't feel like cooking it. I will sometimes make myself a wrap. And um, just to talk about what I use for my wraps real quick, that's my other little cheat is I use low carb tortillas that have some oil in them. I use them because I still spike if I have Ezekiel's or something else like that. And I'd rather have a low carb one. So I use this brand. It's called Tomorrow's, however it's pronounced. So I get the, this one is the Ancient Grain. One wrap has 60 calories, um, 13 carbs, but seven of which are fiber, and it has two grams of fat. One gram is monosaturated, and the other one is polyunsaturated, the half a gram. So, I mean, 
again, there's some oil, but I'd rather have a little bit of oil. And if I don't use that brand, if I don't use that one, I use the pumpernickel one. They're bigger <laughs> and they're pretty darn good. So it has the same thing, two grams of fat. And this one has um, 80 calories, 18 carbs, nine of which are fiber. So I do, those are my cheats, but if these are not an everyday thing, I probably have one, maybe two a week. I really don't go nuts. These ones are brand new. I just got them at Wegmans. That's where I find them, but I've seen them in other grocery stores too. But if I have a wrap, I will have this with um, refried bean. Um, if I made the cauliflower walnut mushroom taco meat, I'll put some of that on there. Some lettuce, tomato, onion, some hot sauce. If I made a tofu based dressing, I'll put some of that in there. Sometimes I'll put salsa in there, avocado in there wrap it up and eat it. So on the days when I'm quick, I pile everything onto this. I put the whole thing either in the pan or I put it in the microwave and I eat it. So, but for the most part, I have the oats. I reuse jars. So this is a salsa jar and it has tomorrow's savory oats in it, as you can see. So those are my savory oats. I make, there's about a cup worth in here. It's got mushrooms, tomatoes, um, spinach in here and the oats. I use steel cut oats and a little bit of rolled oats. I get them right at all these. So for lunch, that is um, my probably my biggest meal of the day. And when I make a salad, I usually put it either in this big bowl from Dollar Tree or I put it in this guy right here. It's a little wider, doesn't quite hold as much, but um, this one is from a local restaurant that's called Pio Mine and Greens. They're really awesome. If you're ever in um, the Buffalo, New York area, I definitely recommend you try them out. If you're out and about and you're hungry and you want something that you know is compliant and that you can eat, this place is great. It's it's like Core Life on crack. So you go into Core Life and you get their small salad with one kind of lettuce, maybe a second green, and then they let you pick four different things you can put on it. You go into greens, this is the large salad, you can get five different kinds of greens. You can get six or seven. You can put 20 different vegetables and fruits and things on it. You can put as much on there as you want for the same price. They don't start upcharging you for adding more. You can add avocado, you can add just anything and everything. They have a million options and you can put them all on there. They do the same thing with pizzas and they do have a whole grain crust and you can obviously get no cheese put on it. We've done, my husband's done it before. Um, I don't eat that much bread, so I don't really do it, but I've taken bites out of his. But I love being able to go in there and get this ginormous salad and being stuffed. So if I eat out, I tend to go there or I go to Wegmans and I get salad at their salad bar. So I just wanted to show you, and this is where I'm actually going to be doing some chopping, and I'm going to lower this so you can see what I'm doing. So most of the time I use either half of a romaine heart or I use the whole thing, and I tend to want it chopped up really small. And the reason I decided to do this in the video is because it's 12.30 and I'm actually pretty darn hungry. And I cleaned my countertop, so don't freak out. I have old counters. I don't care. I just like to use that. This, this heart is actually pretty small, so I am using the whole thing, except for the core. Sometimes I toss that out for the creators and then I dump it into my Pio Mine greens bowl. And then I add either spinach or arugula and I literally just grab like a big handful like this. This is um, from Aldi's. This one is not organic. A lot of the times I get it, but that's okay. I don't, some people are very fanatical about wanting organic everything. If you can't afford organic everything, don't sweat it. I don't sweat it. I don't care if that annoys people, but that's me. And guess what? I'm still alive. <laughs> so I will add that. So as you can see, my salad is a good size. When people talk about, oh, I just couldn't eat a salad every day, I'd be hungry. My salad is usually pretty darn big to the point where when I'm done making it, um, sometimes I can't even finish it because I get stuffed, okay? Because I literally... This is a big salad. I like to add some matchstick carrots. So I get this one, actually, I think came from 
Wegmans. It's like a dollar forty nine for this thing. It's not doesn't have to be expensive. You can add as little or as much as you want. This week I did not get organic cucumbers. I got these cute little minis. I just thought it was funny because when I get a cucumber, when I don't have my home grown anymore, which I do garden and try to make my own, and my own went crazy this year. So I'm very sad. I got some pickles left over from mine, but it's sad that I don't have any left. But um, I do tend to get the English cucumbers, and I saw these this week, and they did have an organic version, but it was a dollar more. And again, I'm not that crazy about having to get organic. I get it when I can. So look, I just used basically that entire little mini cucumber. Again, the tips I can save and give to the little critters. And I put, you if it's a big tomato, I use about a half a tomato. This one's pretty small. So I put an entire tomato into my salad. I tend to make them almost like, um, like salsa size. I don't like big hunks. So I'm going to I'm going to chop this very quick cuz normally I would do this a little nicer. I make slices and then I do that, but I'm also cuz I'm recording, I'm also kind of standing a little sideways. Now, while I'm here, I should get started with the next part because that takes a little bit of time. So let me show you what I do as far as cooked stuff on my salad. I'm going to go in the fridge which is right behind you. All right, so I use some veggie broth in my cast iron pan. Yes, you can cook with cast iron without having to put oil on it. And I know it's hard for you to see the pan, but I get these, this family pack of sliced baby Bella mushrooms. I get, um, this is a 20 ounce, which is one pound, four ounces. I buy this sliced one and then I buy the same size in the whole mushrooms every week and I eat them every week. I eat the whole two packages of mushrooms. Yes, my husband eats some of them, but he doesn't go crazy. So when I cook, when I'm making a salad, I do cook my mushrooms. Um, most of the plant-based doctors out there recommend the cooking of them. And yeah, it makes, you know, I, I do it not only because of that, but frankly, it kind of gives it almost like the meat component. I don't really measure out. I put a bunch in my pan and then there's a few things I stick with it. I like to cook my onions with it, but I don't, let me see, I do have some onions actually. Let me stick that to the side. I don't have a lot in here. This is, um, I haven't opened this avocado yet, but I just stuck it in here so it would be with it. But a trick to keep avocado is if you put it opened upside up into a container with red onions, sliced up red onions, it will prevent it from going brown for a few days. So that's how I do it. Normally I would use a lot more onions than this, but it's just what I, I didn't grab any out of the fridge. So I'm just using what I have handy. Um, I would normally put more than that. And I love to put frozen veggies in my salad. So this is a mix that has like the carrots, peas, corn, little green beans, and little lima beans in it. 89 cents at Wegmans. Again, sometimes I get the same bag at Aldi's. It's like the same price. And I toss some of those in there. I make this bag last me the week just for salads. And so they don't go spilling out of my freezer. I put them in a little Ziploc baggie, and I'm going to try to squeeze more of the air out. All right, so I'm just making a big mess. I like to put radishes in my salad. So again, these, gosh, I don't even know where the heck I got these. Probably again at Wegmans. I, I tend to get some things at Wegmans, but most of my shopping ends up being at all these. That bag it's probably about at least two weeks old. It might even be three weeks. So what I like to do with these little medallions is I just thought they were the cutest thing. Might as well make your salad look pretty. So I chop them like that and then they almost look like little crinkle cut little fries. So I toss those on my salad. I'm going to just use the knife super quick and just stir those. 
all those are cooking. And let's see, what else do I put on my salad? Some days I will put olives on there. I got these at, like, at um, Walmart yesterday because I forgot to buy a can at all these. These ones are pretty big. And I'm just going to use three of them. I know you couldn't see what I was doing. So I'm going to cut those guys up and add them to my salad. And the other thing I like to get, it's my other little cheat. Those are my little cheats. I don't cheat by eating meat. I don't cheat by eating dairy or cheese, you know, or eggs or any kind of, you know, thing like that. My cheats are things that may be cooked with a little bit of oil. This is, again, Wegmans. Their herbed tofu is fantastic. It's at their salad bar. And I usually have it about once a week, but I've actually started buying like a, spending about $2.50. I'm getting a small carton of it so I can add like five pieces to my salads. They do use a little bit of sesame oil in the cooking of it. It's so good that it's, again, it's like a little treat for myself. So I like to cut them up into smaller bite-sized little pieces. And I like to put those on my salad as a treat. This is the first week where I've actually been bringing them home lately. So I can have more of it. And then I put beans. I tend to put about a half a cup of beans on my salad. I don't really measure it. I just go bloop and put a bunch of beans on my salad. Like that. So, and then anything else you want. I Sometimes I add peppers. Sometimes I add some of the taco meat that I made. You know, there's different things that I will add to it. And these are pretty much done enough. Normally I would cook the mushrooms a little bit longer, but just for the sake of being able to show what I'm doing, I'm just going to grab it now. So I cooked the mushrooms and those frozen veggies. And as you can see, my plate is starting to overflow here. Cause like I said, I tend to make my salads big. So when you're hearing someone saying, I'm eating a salad for lunch and I'm eating a salad for dinner, you don't always have to think that it's this little teeny tiny little toss salad. This is a lot of food. So even so, because it's getting so over piled here, I'm going to kind of just toss it into this bigger bowl, which again, like I said, is just a Dollar Tree like serving bowl and check it out. It was overflowing in this thing and it's filled to the top in this guy. This is the size salad that I have every day. I've lost 70 pounds eating this much food for lunch. You do not have to starve yourself. So um, in the terms of salad dressing, there are um, plenty of recipes out there for making different dressings that are oil-free, that are tasty. I make a tofu-based chipotle ranch one that is actually really good, and I will probably do a video shoot soon showing you how to do that. But if you're crunched for time and you need it fast, there are some oil-free dressings on store shelves that you can find, and I'll take my glasses off so you can see my face again. So these dressings in different stores probably still have a decent amount of sodium, a decent amount of sugar may be added to them. So they may not be the best options, but in the grand scale of things, again, I take it as, with a grain of salt. If it's something that's still oil-free, you're doing yourself a favor. So um, one of my favorites is from Trader Joe's. It's called their Sesame Soy Ginger Vinaigrette. And it's got I'll go like that so you can see the ingredients. Let's see. It's got vinegar, which is red wine, cider that is distilled. Sugar, water, soy sauce, honey. Some people don't like honey. I don't care. Sesame seeds, garlic, miso, salt, the xanthan gum. I know we don't want that, but ginger and caramel color. So two tablespoons, 35 calories, nine carbs. They say zero fat. So, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I would rather have a little bit of sugar and a little bit of the xanthan gum than an oily salad dressing. Whole Foods carries a bunch of oil-free dressings and hopefully they go up on Amazon. I don't know if they have, but like my husband's favorite is their vegan Caesar and um, says right on the label, no oil, low sodium. 
They have, um, this is from them, but it's not their brand. This is a skinny, fat-free balsamic vinaigrette that has no oil in it. And um, they have, this one is a carrot ginger, no oil dressing. They make a sesame ginger that mine does not carry. I keep complaining to it. It's fabulous. They make an avocado that's no oil that's fabulous. They make a fig balsamic. And there's like one or two others that I just haven't tried yet. These are pricey. They're like $5.99 for one of these bottles. But um, they last a while. Like this one that's getting low. I mean, we've had this one for probably three weeks. These guys are not my favorite. I don't use them as frequent, but I mean, I've probably had them about the same amount of time. So I'll use some of these dressings. I'll use hot sauce. I'll use salsa. I'll use, I got my balsamic vinegar. It's kind of, I make a mess out of it so you can't even see the label anymore. But, um, you know, I tend to use that, especially like when I go to Wegmans. I know I'm not going to find an oil-free dressing. So when I go to Wegmans and I make my salad, I use balsamic vinegar and I grab a packet of their soy sauce and I use that. And that's probably actually what I'm going to use today is just the balsamic vinegar and a little soy sauce because I'm just not in the mood. You want different flavors for whatever mood you're in. So there's some days where I use the creamy dressing and I use my tofu homemade dressing. There's other days where I do use, you know, these guys or I use my Trader Joe's. I really like the Trader Joe's. I, I haven't had it in a while. So, you know, yeah, as you can see, I've used quite a bit since um, last week. So, you know, it, it depends on my mood. So what am I gonna eat for dinner then? So I showed you my big old salad. Dinner tends to be either a smaller salad or the same thing, a salad. Um, or usually it's a smaller salad with something that I prepare. I don't go crazy with cookbooks and trying out too many recipes. A lot of the time when I try new recipes, I don't like them. So I stick close to home. Um, yesterday I made, um, this is a... Um, butternut squash soup. So yesterday for dinner, I had a small cup and I don't, I think they're still dirty in my sink, but I'll show you my dirty dishes. Okay. So I use one of these little soup, little bowls, and I will fill that. It holds roughly a cup of soup. So I, when I make homemade soups and chilies, this is my serving size. I keep it to that. And if I'm still really hungry with it or it's just going down really good, sometimes I'll fill it again about halfway. So I tend to have a super chili with a smaller salad or with a sandwich. Um, we bought um, roasted red peppers and we've been making like the um, kind of like the Panera bread Mediterranean sandwich without the feta cheese. So we've been making that with pumpernickel. Um, I tend, if I do that, I tend to only use half a sandwich or I put it on one of those wraps because I don't really eat much bread. So um, the first time we made that was actually yesterday. So a lot of the time I end up having um, soup, chili, a veggie burger on a wrap. Um, I make, you know, that taco meat and we'll have a wrap. And then like, it'll be about an hour later when I will have a salad. It's not quite as big as this. It's probably still about to here. It's still a significant amount of food and I still stuff myself and then I'm good. If I snack during the day, I tend to snack on a couple Mary's crackers. Those seed crackers are really good. I will have maybe six or seven of those with some salsa or I will have sometimes an apple, sometimes an orange. So most of the time, if I have a snack, it's usually those Mary crackers because they, they taste like I'm having something bad when they're not. So I love having those. So, um, and then after that, it's just drinking water. You know, usually um, because my husband, like I said, he works evenings. I tend to have the wrap, the burger, the, you know, the soup or the chili. I tend to have that with him at like 4, 430 so I can eat with him before he goes to work. And then at about 6, 630 is when I get up and I make my salad and I eat my salad and then I'm done eating for the day. Then if I'm hungry, I'll have a cup of tea. I will have my big ice water of the day. I tend to make a huge cup I don't see the usual glass I use. It's really big. It fits like almost like 
two trays of ice and I fill it with ice. I like my ice. So that's what I eat in a day. And honestly, I think the salads that I eat are even smaller than what I was eating over the summer because I really think that my stomach is shrinking at the same time that I'm shrinking. So I'm not hungry. If I'm hungry, I eat something. I just eat something that is better for you. Very rarely, if I'm out and about and we can't get to something like this, very rarely I'll eat a Lara bar. I mean, I've the last time I had a Lara bar was probably two months ago. You know, I tend to try to keep certain things with me. So, you know, even if I have some nuts, sometimes I will put avocado on here. Sometimes I will put, I have some of them sitting here. Sometimes these ones were salted and you probably shouldn't use salted, but I like them. But um, pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds, my sunflower seeds are unsalted. So, so that's good. <laughs> you know, I'll put, you know, the avocado on here and I'll use maybe about a quarter to a half of it. I don't go super nuts with that. But, you know, yeah, I'm eating a good amount of food. I'm not starving myself. And you shouldn't, it's not about starving yourself. It's about feeding you the right kinds of foods. So this, thankfully, is my lunch. And I get to wrap up this video and put some of that balsamic vinegar and the soy sauce on it. And I get to eat it So, because I'm pretty hungry. So <laughs> that's what I eat in a day. That's what I've eaten to lose 70 pounds. If you're wondering what I do is for exercise, you know, my other videos show my running. It's winter. We just got three inches of snow this morning. I don't have a treadmill. I don't even like treadmills, but I'm thinking about either doing that or getting some cross country skis because running in the snow is not always fun. And I'm not exercising as much as I should right now because it's it's freaking cold out there. So, so, but I, I do tend to do that. I try to do, um, walk away the pounds in the house if I need to, but that's what I eat. That's what I do for exercise. And that's what I'm using for weight loss. So I want to thank you for watching. I'm sorry I made it such a long video, but I just wanted to get it out there and let everyone know and show what I'm eating. So, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, <laughs> with a soup and and I'm good you know and I'm satisfied and I feel good and I crave these foods so I crave my salad I don't crave potato chips and ice cream and on the rare occasions if I take a bite of those things I'm so used to not having them that they now taste gross to me so you know my kids ice cream tastes like nasty thick syrup and it's just bleh. so I don't do it it's easy to not cheat on those kind of things when they start, you're so used to not having them that they just start tasting blah to you. So little cheats like, you know, my creamer and my, my wraps to me are a lot more excusable in the grand scheme of things. Little things like this to keep you being successful and on point, I think are well worth it. So this is what I eat in a day and I'm going to get going so that I can actually eat it. So <laughs> I want to thank you for watching. You know, please subscribe. Please uh, join us on Facebook. I will put the link to our weight loss whole food plant-based group that we have. And you're welcome to like my page, which is called Plant-Based Melissa. And I will see you soon. Have a great day, everyone. And thanks for watching. Bye.